so good morning 11th class uh, we have started dictionary revision yesterday so i am starting the revision once again and uh, we will revise this chapter in detail okay so be alert and wherever you have doubt you can ask me i'll be asking questions from you all so be attentive okay dictionary i told you is the set of unordered uh, set of elements and it is represented in form of key value pairs right like i am having dictionary d and uh, my first key value pair is roll number 1 name arun comma then i have uh, age 20 then i have grade as a so right now i have four key value pairs or you can say four elements of dictionary when i print d this dictionary gets print the elements they are enclosed in curly braces the elements of dictionary they are enclosed in curly braces like list and tuple which have indexing forward and backward positive and negative and each element in the list or tuple or string is accessed by their index dictionary elements are not indexed dictionary elements are not indexed there is no indexing in the dictionary clear then how we can access the elements of dictionary we access the elements of dictionary via their keys like suppose uh, these are the keys and this is the value of the key you want to access value 1 you will say d bracket roll number the name of the key and press the enter key press the enter key okay clear yeah so uh, whenever you want to access any value you pass the relevant key in the square bracket along with the dictionary name if i want to access the value 20 you will pass the relevant key and press the enter key you get the value 20 whichever key you will pass in the square bracket that will print the value of that very key but if you are writing only the name of the dictionary if you are typing only the name of the dictionary it will print the entire dictionary clear to everyone up till here am i clear 11th all right so there is one term look up what is look up look up refers to the operation that takes up a particular key and print its value ek aisa operation jiske through aap kisi bhi key ki value ko print karwa sakte ho that operation is known as lookup 
clear and other name of dictionary is associative arrays associative arrays or mapping or hashes these are other names of dictionary and how you can create the empty dictionary just passing the empty curly bracket and you can have the empty dictionary now one very important point to be noted over here is the keys of the dictionary must be immutable the keys of the dictionary must be immutable clear values can be mutable or immutable but the key must be immutable what i mean by this is i have dictionary a equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma a then i have 4 comma 5 comma 6 colon b see python has given error python has generate an error anybody can tell me why the error has come what was the reason for the error here only one hand is raised yes ashutosh you tell me Sir, list because list is a mutable data type. Okay. And we cannot. And keys are only immutable. Yeah. Very good. Nice. We try to give a key which was a mutable type. हमने list को key की form में represent करने की कोशिश की. That was a mutable structure. and keys of the dictionary is always immutable it cannot be a mutable one so python generates an error okay clear up till here am i clear to all okay now you can access the keys of the dictionary अगर आपको सिर्फ कीज एक्सेस करनी है तो दैट यू कैन डू विद द हेल्प ऑफ इनबिल्ट फंक्शन कीज आई एल बी गोइंग वेरी स्लो इन द डिक्शनरी चैप्टर बिकॉज सो मेनी कॉन्सेप्ट आर देयर ओके so try to understand try to revise this is second time we are doing this chapter so try to understand the concept very carefully now i have a question from you i will name the child he or she will unmute himself or herself uh, this question is for yuvraj virdi unmute yourself Yuvraj Virdi. Yes, sir. Yuvraj, what is the role of keys function? Why I have taken this function keys? Sir, keys is the. Sir, just a roll number, name, or age. This keys. Ah. Uh. Yes, Japan Jod. What are your views? Solution is uh, to print the only the key value. Only the key. Only the keys of the dictionary. 
the keys method is only used to display the keys of the dictionary and see how the keys are displayed dict constructor dict is a constructor underscore keys tuple tuple ke andar list ke form mein keys in the form of tuple the list of keys enclosed in the tuple is displayed now if you want to print only values if you want to print only values then which function we will take d dot values we will take d dot values this function will print the values of all the keys right clear okay i am going to do one thing tell me what will happen what will happen when i will pass this function carefully see the statement all of you when i will press the enter key what will be the result yashika sir keys will be displayed in the form of list all the keys will be displayed in the form of list check it now i am going to do this harnoor kaur of 11th b unmute yourself harnoor kaur of 11th b yes sir what will happen when i will give this statement list d dot values sir now the values will be converted into list form very good shabash values will be displayed in form of list okay clear so now we have some features of list sorry dictionary is the notepad window visible i have opened a notepad window it is visible to all okay so what are the different features of dictionary first is it is unordered set as already we know dictionary consist of unordered set of elements because dictionary is not ordered as compared to list and tuple dictionary is never ordered it doesn't have indexing okay so that is why dictionary is considered to be an unordered set of elements then second feature is it is not a sequence string is a sequence tuple is a sequence list is a sequence dictionary is not considered as a sequence because in the list tuple dictionary elements are having proper indexing elements are accessed via their index but as such there is no indexing in the dictionary so there is no sequence that is followed so it is not treated as a sequence clear third indexed by keys not numbers if you want to access any value of dictionary you can access वाया इट्स की ये देखो हमने अभी किया ना ये चीज ये वाली अगर आपको कोई भी वैल्यू एक्सेस करनी है यू कैन एक्सेस द वैल्यू वाया इट्स की यू टेक द नेम ऑफ डिक्शनरी ओके इन द स्क्वेयर ब्रैकेट you write the name of the key 
and press the enter key it will always generate the value which is associated with this key because internally dictionary elements are indexed via their keys dictionary elements are indexed via their keys okay then fourth one is keys must be unique can you have two keys with the same name can you have two keys with the same name can you repeat a key in the dictionary yes yes divanshi no sir no sir can you have uh, no, two values same values yes sir i just uh, prove this point let us have one dictionary over here x equal to a colon 1 b colon 2 c colon 3 d 4 then again i have c 5 i have e 6 okay so here i have two keys with the same name key number c having three value then again c key having five value i try to use two keys with the same name i try to print x what x did what python did it pick up the most updated value of that key maine जो C नाम की की थी उसको दो वैल्यू दी थी थ्री एंड फाइव पाइथन हैज पिकड अप द मोस्ट रिसेंट वैल्यू द मोस्ट अपडेटेड वैल्यू बट इट हैज नॉट रिपीटेड द की इट हैज टेकन द कॉमन की वंस ओनली जो की डुप्लीकेट थी उसको एक ही बार किया डुप्लीकेशन रिमूव करके and the most recent value has been taken up as the final value to those students this point is clear please raise your thumb all those students who are clear with this point raise your thumb okay now i am going to do another thing i am going to create वन न्यू की वैल्यू पेयर की नंबर एफ वैल्यू आई एम गिविंग सिक्स आई हैव क्रिएटेड अ न्यू की आई हैव क्रिएटेड आई हैव असाइन अ न्यू की वैल्यू पेयर कैन आई असाइन पहले मुझे ये बताओ कैन आई असाइन अ न्यू की वैल्यू पेयर लाइक दिस can i assign a new key value pair yes divanshi what are your views yes sir reason sir because assignment is supported in dictionary oh that is okay but what is the main logic behind it sir because it will update the uh, previous value of that key oh ho divanshi straight reason dictionaries are mutable dictionaries are mutable list set and dictionary these three are the mutable data types so updation or assignment is possible in dictionary ab isme kya hoga if if f key if your f key already exist its value will get update 
but if the f key does not exist it will be created for the new time for the new way okay right oh ho maine isko naam nahi diya koi wait x ke andar maine f naam ki key create ki aur six value de di theek hai ab maine x ko print karwaya ye dekho in the earlier dictionary x the key f was not existing so i try to create a new key value pair key name is f its value is 6 now check the point which i want to tell you keys must be unique har key unique hai but values can be same e key has 6 value f key also has 6 value the value must be same clear to all value can be same keys must be unique keys must be unique but values can be same i hope this point is totally clear to all of you now all right then is we have discussed this point dictionaries are mutable mutable means you can change the value in place you can change the value in place you can update the value of existing key ye dekho uh, key b has two value the key b of dictionary x has two value i am going to update it i am going to give it value 7 now i print a dictionary check it the value of the key b is updated the value of the key b is updated this is possible because dictionaries are mutable in nature okay then your next feature is internally stored as mappings i told you dictionary has another name associative arrays or mapping or hashes why it is known as mappings because internally the key value pairs they are connected with each other they are associated with each other using some hash function okay in the internal structure the keys and their corresponding values they are associated with each other using some internal function that is called hash function due to which dictionaries are known as mappings i hope all the features of dictionary are clear to everyone any doubt to any child yes please any doubt to any child okay so let us proceed further and uh, our next concept is working with dictionaries our next concept is working with dictionaries now in how we can work with dictionary here we will do the first case case number 1 multiple ways 
of creating a dictionary there are multiple ways of creating a dictionary how you can create dictionary there are two three methods okay so first is the simple method we initialize the dictionary we initialize the dictionary just now see this example which i have shaded this is the example of initialization of dictionary this is the example of initialization of dictionary you have the name of dictionary you have opening curly bracket you have key value pairs and you close the curly bracket okay so this is your how to initialize the dictionary clear all right i have a question what are other names of dictionary what are other names of dictionary yes ridhi sir mapping and uh, associated arrays mapping or associative arrays okay uh what uh, for what reason dictionaries are known as mapping what is mapping what do you mean by the word mapping just now i have told you yes come with your answers what is mapping uh, yes samriddhi these are stored as internally stored as mapping using some hash functions and they are associated with other other each other using some hash functions so that's why they are the, known as mapping the key value pairs internally are interconnected with each other are associated with each other using hash function that is called mapping okay all right now comes a second way of creating a dictionary okay via empty dictionary via empty dictionary now how you can create empty dictionary there are two ways first simple the name of dictionary equal to empty curly bracket this is the first method to create an empty dictionary the name of the dictionary equal to and two curly braces and when you print it it will print the empty dictionary second way of creating the empty dictionary is via dict constructor emp equal to dict and uh, take this as a constructor using the dict constructor you can create your empty dictionary and when you print it it creates the empty dictionary check it out have you noticed all of you yes class have you noticed any doubt up till here so two ways to create an empty dictionary is take the name of dictionary and assign empty curly bracket to it or create an empty dictionary via dict constructor now once you have created an empty dictionary a start assigning values to it ek bar aapne empty dictionary create kar li now start assigning values to it emp 
फर्स्ट वैल्यू ए गिव फर्स्ट की ए वैल्यू वन ये मेरा पहला की वैल्यू प्रिपेयर हो गया आई हैव प्रिपेयर माई फर्स्ट की वैल्यू इन द डिक्शनरी आई असाइन फर्स्ट की वैल्यू पेयर टू द डिक्शनरी ई एम पी ओके देन सेकेंड की वैल्यू पेयर टू नाउ प्रिंट इट चेक इट आउट दिस इज हाउ यू कैन इनिशियलाइज और क्रिएट योर डिक्शनरी फर्स्ट यू क्रिएट एम टी डिक्शनरी एंड देन स्टार्ट असाइनिंग द की वैल्यू पेयर टू द एम टी डिक्शनरी क्लियर एम आई क्लियर टू एवरी वन अपटिल हेयर ऑल राइट any doubt any questions any queries any doubt to any child any questions yes please come with your doubts <coughs> all right our third concept is you can create a dictionary from name and value pairs you can create the dictionary from name and value pairs now under this you have first point is specify the key value pairs as keyword arguments as keyword arguments using the dict constructor function we will add key value pairs as keyword arguments we will give name to the argument along with the value and pass it to the dict function that will create my dictionary clear 